Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and thank you for tuning in. Now, I don't think there's any reason to really, you know, try to lead this on, because I know the title kind of gives the whole video away. Today is a, a very special day in regards to this YouTube channel, the Report of the Week. Ten years ago, on this day, February 20th, 2011, I did my very first review, I uploaded my first video, and this YouTube channel was born, so to speak. And I can't believe it, I mean, I really can't, that it's actually been 10 years uh, since I first started doing the reviews. And to me, it's like, it's surreal in a sense, because, you know, 10 years, I mean, so much has changed, yet it still feels like it just, how could it actually be a decade, you know? It just, it's, it's so surprising, and it's sometimes tough to really get it into words, um, what I feel right now. Now, I know over the years I've done, like, a few other types of anniversary videos, um, you know, milestone videos, and I was thinking to myself in the days kind of leading up to this, I was thinking, well, what exactly do I want to say today that, you know, just doesn't sound like a repetition of the same sort of thing, and, you know, I don't want to try to change things up too much and just, you know, like, just be babbling aimlessly. And I was brainstorming, I was thinking of different ideas, different things to do, etc., as fate has it, I was going through some old files of mine, they're actually on a flash drive, it was from my old computer, and I actually found a video that I thought was lost in the ether. I mean, I literally thought that this thing was, was gone, and that it didn't exist anymore, and that uh, today, to mark the commem well, to commemorate the 10-year anniversary of this YouTube channel, um, it's my absolute pleasure to share it with you. The very first review that's uploaded on this YouTube channel, and you can go back and take a look at it, um, you know, I filmed it on February 20th, 2011, and I tried out 5-Hour Energy in pomegranate flavor. One thing, though, that I really haven't talked about much is that that actually isn't the very first video I ever made. Earlier that day, I had actually done my very first review, which was for 5-Hour Energy in orange flavor, and unfortunately, at the time, I was using one of these flip cameras, and it was positioned the wrong way, so after I, you know, transferred it to the computer, I found out, like, the video was upside down or something. And I wasn't very technically savvy, I didn't have a good video editor or anything, so there was nothing that I could do with that footage but just kind of forget about it, redo the whole video, and because I didn't have any more orange-flavored 5-hour energy, then I tried out the next thing, pomegranate-flavored 5-hour energy, which was my very first review. And that was the one that I uploaded because it was filmed correctly and everything. But again, earlier in the day, I had done another review, which was originally going to be my very first one. But again, because of that technical issue, I was like, well, I can't do anything with it. I mean, I was kind of a little frustrated with the fact that that happened. Um, and then I eventually forgot about it. You know, I had that second take. I uploaded that. Everything was good. And of course, with time, I just forgot that ever happened. And I thought the footage was lost. It was deleted, etc. But believe it or not, I found that video, and I was shocked. I mean, I thought that was legitimately gone forever. And uh, now in the video editor, of course, I was able to just really easily fix it. So 10 years to the day, I would like to premiere my very first review that I ever did on the channel. Um, this has been never before seen. And <laughs> if you've ever seen my very first video that's actually public right now, um, you'll know that my delivery has changed quite a bit, and um, I wasn't necessarily as comfortable on the camera as I may be 10 years later. But I hope you can, I hope you, you know, make of it what you will. If you want to get a laugh out of it, by all means, and um, I just hope you enjoy. So I'm just going to get positioned here. I'm going to get this video queued up. I'm going to get my headphones in. Now, I'm going to watch it along with you, but the one thing that I realize is, you know, because this has never been seen, because you can't really find it anywhere else except here, you know, I'll react to it a little bit, but I'm just not going to try to get too much in the way of the um, delivery of the actual video. So with that said, let me leave some room. We'll kind of break the fourth wall because I have to edit the video in right there. Let's get the headphones in. And uh, yeah, for a 10-year anniversary, how about we check this out? So let's load this up. And now that everything's set up, let's take a journey back in time to February 20th, 2011. This is the first video that I ever made, never before seen. 
sit back, relax, enjoy, and just make of it what you will. Here goes. Hello everyone, this is Energy Crisis. Now, we're doing a study regarding energy drinks, where basically we try them, we drink different brands, you know, main brands, every, everything, you know, Rockstar, Monster, Red Bull, 5 Hour Energy, all these different tri types, and we rate them uh, on effectiveness, price, and on durability, or basically how long it keeps you energized for. But mainly, we're going to keep uh, focusing on the first two. Now, just to pause it real quick, you can see obviously just how much I've changed um, <laughs> just over the years, but I'm still going with the suit. You know, that's one thing that has never changed over all these years. But let's continue now. On this show, we're going to be doing five hour energy. Now, it's, you know, relatively small as you can see in this bottle, and that's how they sell it. It's mainly got taurine and glucoric acid and caffeine in it, but you'll find more stuff. Now, if you tried to pour it, it would probably fill this glass twice. You know, it's got bright energetic colors, you know. This wouldn't look good if it was just a little black can. Uh, you know, the serving size is 1.93 fluid ounces, you know, one serving per container. So, you know, it's see how much is in here. I'm gonna pour it out. I think it only filled the shot glass once instead of twice. I think that was a I so misspoke in that regard. Almost almost filled this to brim. If you take a look here. It's like a if you can see it's like a pinkish color. Almost like it's basically almost watery with a little pink in it. You can see a little there was particles a little pink floating around it. that sugar because it's loaded with sugar. It's, you know, it's pink, you know, it's almost like water, you know. It's almost like, it looks like water. Let me smell it. it smells like orange because we purchased it in orange flavor. It's a good thing. So let's, let me try a taste. Okay. You know, the taste, you could definitely, you know, taste the orange flavor. You know, when it first hits your tongue, it's, it, it's like a, a sweet flavor almost, you know? Like you could definitely taste the sugar and uh, the orange flavor, but as it gets into the back of your mouth, you know, it gets this sour oh. aftertaste. I don't know where that comes from, but <laughs> With the button you there. get the sour aftertaste must hit the taste buds right in the back of your tongue by your throat. The aftertaste isn't good, I'll, I'll be honest. Just to pause it once again, this is the drink that in the very first video, that again is available on the channel, um, the pomegranate one, this is where I did say, I'm talking about this one, where I said it tastes like you know what in the back of my throat. It's, this is exactly what I was talking about. You could definitely still taste the orange, though. You know, still sweet. But, you know, then the sweet converts to sour in the back of your mouth, and it leaves a not-so-good aftertaste. Yep. not-so-good aftertaste. You know, once again, it's watery and kind of pinkish. So, you know what I mean? Now, effectiveness. This is pretty effective, I'll be honest with you. But, you know, I can't sit here for five hours right now to see if it actually lasts. So, conveniently, I tried some last night. <laughs> now, with that, sadly, it did not last for five no. hours. But, and a half it lasted hour long energy. enough to keep me awake and energized for however long I needed. Which, that was good, actually. It kept me awake. So, you know, it, it worked. Not for five Not hours, for five but hours, maybe so. for like two and a half hours. Now, worth it. You know, this small drink, small little container, we bought it for four dollars, package of two, otherwise, well, it was two dollars for this little thing. You know, kept me energized. You know, the taste wasn't the greatest, but 
Maybe. Well. Now, for price, however, four dollars for this, no, for two of them, you know, that's not that's not so bad. It's not terrible. You know. Personally, it kept me awake not for five hours. I feel they should rename it. Let's say two and a half hour energy. <laughs> that gets me every single time. I but, can't uh, help it. Anyway, two and a half hour energy. Let me see. Basically, you know, I think it's worth it for the price. You know, for about four dollars, it's it's not bad. It's worth it. I feel so. You know. There we go. Not the greatest taste meal keeps you energized, but I feel it's worth it. So, this is Energy Crisis, and next week we'll be doing Monster, which, to be honest, is one of my favorites. So, I'll see you then. For now, have a good day. Now, there you... What a video that was, I have to say. I think this is one of those cases, you know, when you're kind of looking back at the last 10 years, you could almost say how much has changed, and in some cases, some things have just stayed the same. I mean, obviously, the suits, you know, that's one thing that's always, it's always existed. Um, but I know that at the time, you know, I was, I mean, you could hear all the voice cracks and everything, and I can't help but laugh at that retrospectively. It's, you know, it's silly in some of my, um, yeah, some of my own little... I don't even know what you want to call them, mannerisms or whatever. I, I can't help it but chuckle at. But some things, you know, they change. Other things stay the same. But regardless, I mean, I just can't believe that it is actually... I can't believe I've been at this for a decade. I really can't. It's like, it, it's so... It's so surreal to me. It, it's just a crazy time, the passage of thing is, I suppose. But, wow. Ten years later, I honestly can't believe it. I... I really can't. I hope that video was enjoyable for you, though. I mean, I know it, you know, I don't know if it was like an edge of your seat type of thing, but I hope you're able, you know, whatever. I hope you enjoyed it, though, one way or another. That was the very first video that I ever did trying out the orange flavor of Five Hour Energy. And then again, the real, you know, the first one that's on the channel now was the pomegranate flavored Five Hour Energy. But, you know, as I sit here today and I kind of reflect and think back on these 10 years, this channel really has changed a bit, you know? Locations have changed, the things that I review, that's changed too. When I first started out the channel, it was just something that I was purely doing for the fun of it. I was just saying, well, I wonder what these energy drinks taste like. I'm going to do a little study regarding the energy drinks. I'm just going to try out a couple. I'm going to set the camera up. And um, I'll just record my findings on video, and then that'll be that. I remember, though, even, I'd say, by the second video that I ever did, um, you know, the second official one, when I was trying out the monster, I remember clear as day after the camera was off there, and all was said and done, I remember thinking to myself, you know, getting in front of the camera here, doing my own little show, so to speak, being able to just do this little assessment, being able to be myself, have fun, have a good time, this is, this is really something. This is really enjoyable, and who knows, maybe I'll just keep it up as long as I do. Even that early on, I was, I was realizing this is something that I really like doing. And here we are a decade later, obviously some things have changed. I first started out the uh, channel just doing the energy crisis, energy drink reviews. Then at the very end of 2011 and into 2012, I started doing the Running on Empty food review series, which... I think a lot of people know the channel for at this point. Uh, in 2014, I began doing my VORW podcasts, which now I have a whole separate channel dedicated to those, um, which for the sake of it, you could find at youtube.com slash VORW podcast. You could also find it on Spotify and iTunes and all the podcast sites by searching VORW. And then in, uh, well, starting in 2015 and then consistently in 2016, I began doing uh, shortwave radio broadcasts, which is something that I just enjoy doing very much. And uh, all in all, wow, what a journey it's been. And, you know, I can't always say that it's been a smooth ride completely. Of course, with anything, I, I think just in life in general, right, things have their ups and downs. Things have, oh, you have the good days, you have the bad days. You know, sometimes you just have to deal with certain things. And obviously this channel was no exception with that. It's had good periods, it's had bad periods, but I've been here all the same, just pressing on one day, one video at a time. 
you know, the biggest reason, especially in those difficult times, but even on the best of days, that keeps this channel going, that, well, it keeps, it, it keeps me going here, is the fantastic audience that watches, listens to the content, you the viewer. Thank you so much for your support over all these years, however long you've been here. You might be here from the very start, you know, by, by some miracle. I don't know how someone could put up with me for 10 years. Maybe you've been here for five years or two years or one year or even just a month. But no matter how long you've been here, how long you've been watching, how long you've been a listener to the podcasts and the radio shows, most sincerely, I say thank you. Thank you for your support, for your comments, your suggestions, your messages of encouragement. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all know it's such a fantastic audience, and it is all of you that give me the motivation and the inspiration to keep this channel going. That's why this channel has been here a whole decade, and I know that I can't predict the future, but hey, who knows, maybe we'll be here 10 years more, right? Who's to say? You can't predict the future. When I first started out doing these YouTube videos, never once did I ever expect that, number one, the channel would ever get to where it is today, and let alone that I would ever even be here 10 years later, so you never know what can happen. You know, to all those of you who maybe have aspirations of creating content, when I first started out this channel, I mean, there was no... I, I was just... there was just something to do for fun. I was going to do one video a week, I was just going to share my findings on uh, the energy drinks, and that would be that. Never once did I even think that it would ever end up this way, but it's so fantastic and so wonderful that it did. To all those of you out there who maybe you're working on something too, maybe you're doing videos, or you're doing maybe music, or writing, or drawing, or you're working on a project of sorts. You never know what the future holds. You never know. If it's something that you enjoy doing, that you have that passion, that drive, and that motivation for, don't give up. Look, we never know what tomorrow holds. Good or bad, we can't predict the future, but put your best foot forward, take it one day at a time. Hey, you never know. If you like what you're doing, don't give up. So with that, that's all that I have for you, ladies, gentlemen, everyone out there tuned in. Thank you for watching. I hope you just enjoyed that little that little video. I thought it was something that I found and I thought to myself, uh, wow, you know, I, I mean, again, I thought that this footage just was gone, like it was wiped off the face of the earth. So when I saw that, I thought, oh yeah, this is going to be something fun to just share for the 10 year anniversary. So uh, again, hope you found it enjoyable. And uh, we're just going to keep this going. We'll have more reviews. We'll have more broadcasts and podcasts and some fun random videos, too. Thank you all again for sticking around here at the Report of the Week and at VORW Podcast and Radio and all of that. Thank you for your support. With that, I wish you all the very best. Take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Until next time.